Hey and welcome. On behalf of myself, John Merrick and the entire Iron Wealth Builders team, I'm super excited to be able to present to you this demo video for our brand new Code Action Bar 2.0 WordPress plugin. Now, WordPress blogs are great. Uh, Google loves them and it can be very easy to get a lot of free traffic to your blogs. But at the same time, it can also be very hard to monetize your blog traffic. Your visitors have gone completely ad blind and they're experts at filtering out your ads. It's not all doom and gloom though, you just need a fresh approach. You need something your visitors haven't seen before, yet something that taps deeply into their fear of missing out. And that's exactly what the Code Action Bar 2.0 plugin has been designed to do. But before we get into the details, we need to examine why pop-up blockers were the best thing that ever happened to pop-up advertisers. If you look at this image here, this is from the good old days in the internet, on the internet when we were all on, on dial-up modems, and where you can hit a site that had pop-ups and suddenly you'd have this forest of pop-ups on your screen and it was almost impossible to get them all shut down. Now, obviously this was ineffective advertising because everybody hated it, uh, it didn't work. And what it ended up happening was that every, every single browser out there implemented some form of pop-up blocking and they still have that to this day. All of the pop-up advertisers moved on to other things. Uh, now you have pop-unders, you have light boxes, you have stuff that do not get blocked. Uh, and the end result is that 90% or more probably of the stuff that actually gets blocked by your browser's uh, pop-up blocker is stuff that you actually want to see. And if you look at the image here, this is actually from inside my eye contact uh, autoresponder account where I was going to preview an email in there that pops up in a new window and Firefox actually in this case prevented this uh, eye contact from uh, opening up this pop-up that I specifically had requested and wanted to see. And this is actually what mostly happens with pop-up workers these days. And you see there's a button there for preferences. I can go in and allow this side to, to do it. But the point is, it definitely got my attention. Uh, I go there to check what's wrong and to rectify it because most of the time I want to see what actually got blocked. And that's because for the past 10 years, we've all been conditioned to pay attention to those bars. Now they're great at blocking pop-ups, but they also always come with the option where they tell you what has been blocked and why, and to allow you to unblock it if it's something you actually want to see. And that's important because curiosity to see what we're missing out on and the fear of missing out on something is deeply embedded in the human mind. And the end result is that the people that actually still use the old school pop-ups they now see better results than ever. They get fewer views, but those, but the ones who actually see their stuff actually chose to see it. And when we realized this, the penny drops. We set out to create a plugin that would tap into people's fear of their browser blocking important stuff. So let's take a look at exactly how Code Action Bar 2.0 works and how it uses deep-rooted psychology to almost force people to click your ad. And here we are inside my WordPress app area where I'm going to show you exactly how Code Action Bar 2.0 works and what it can do for you. And first of all, Code Action Bar is a uh, one-click install, easy-to-use WordPress plugin, which means that we'll use it. Uh, it will work on any WordPress blog out there as well, and it's super easy to do. Uh, this is the uh, settings for Code Action Bar 2.0. As you can see, there's a nifty video tutorial in here showing you exactly how to use everything in here, and it pops up and plays right where you need it uh, when you need it. Uh, the other settings in here, here you can put your the text for your bar ad, um, <clears throat> and of course, what Code Action Bar 2.0 does is that it mimics these pop-up blockers and puts up an ad that looks like the pop-up blockers and you put the text you want on here. And as you can see, you can use simple HTML in here, such as bold text and set the font size and whatever. It's also very easy for you to change the background color of the bar to whatever color you want. You can use hex code here, you use our color selection tool, and the same for the font color. You can set it to link to any site you want when they click on your code action bar. Uh, this could be to an affiliate link, to your own site, to a squeeze page, to whatever you want. You select whether you want the uh, them to go to a new window or to have the link open in the same window when they click it. Whether you want to show the an uh, open button or not. Um, and I'll show you that in a bit. And whether that should go to a different link or to the same link as this one up here. And then you have lots of other sex settings for whether it should be a close button on the bar ad or not. 
but they should go to a link after they hit the close button. Uh, you have some timings for when it should show. If here I set it to show up after five seconds, uh, you can set it to any time. How many times it should show a day and all that stuff. You can not show it on, on tablets and mobile phones and all that good stuff. And finally, you can choose whether to play a sound or not. But let's go ahead and update the settings for this ad here. And then we can go actually look at what it does. So we go here, remember I set it to show up after five seconds. So it will pop up in just a few. And here we go, popped up here. I'm not sure if we can actually hear the sound in this recording, probably not, but it made that very familiar bleep sound that <coughs> both uh, Microsoft Edge, Firefox or whatever do when they uh, block a pop-up. And that certainly gets people's attention. And then you have this uh, code action bar up here. And this is my ad text. And if people click anywhere up here, uh, they'll be taken to the link I was specified. There's an open button here, if they click that, they will also go to the link that I was specified. And remember, that could be a totally different link than the ad bar itself, or it could be the same. And this is where people would normally go in order to whitelist uh, the site if they want to see the pop-up or before they click to get more information. So this little open uh, button here is super clever and actually gets a lot of clicks because this is what people have been conditioned to look for. And you have the close button up here as well. So let's go ahead, if we, if we click uh, the link here, then we will be taken to the page. Uh, and I just went back here and you see the ad bar is still here. If I refresh the page, uh, again, we have the setting that it should come up after uh, five seconds and it will now. And I can go ahead and click the ad here. And I set it so that if I click the close button, it shouldn't take them to somewhere, but you can also make them take them to a link of your choosing. So this is how easy it is to use uh, to create these uh, super powerful little code action bars that mimics the pop-up blockers. And they really get people's attention and it gets them to click because they have this fear of missing out and it mimics something that they used to interacting with and paying attention to. And it just works like a charm. And that was a quick demo of the new code action bar plugin. I hope you liked it. It's definitely a super powerful plugin, no matter what niche you deploy it in. In fact, Covert Action Bar gets more clicks and generates more sales than anything we have ever used on our blogs. You can read on below for more information about the plugin, or you can click the button below to start using Covert Action Bar today, because time is literally money. The dime sale is on and the price goes up with every order. An early bird special will end and the price will go up when the countdown timer below hits zero. So click the button below to secure your copy of Code Action Bar today, and I will see you inside.